Good evening there, everybody. What is happening? Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful day today. So when it comes down to it, of course, I thought that I would talk about the most recent relevant news within that of the boxing world. And for those of you overall that have not heard the boxing news overall of the potential fight that is happening, or at least from what I hear now, not the potential, but the actuality of the fight finally happening. Apparently, the Ryan King Garcia versus Javon Tang Davis fight is going to finally happen this year. It finally has been confirmed and announced by that of Oscar De La Hoya, Stephen F. Spinoza, Javon Tang Davis, and I also believe Ryan Garcia, but I'm not really sure if he posted anything about this or not. But for those of you, of course, that have not heard about the exciting news, on April 22nd of this year, just in a couple of months, this fight will apparently happen between Javante Tang Davis and Ryan Garcia. Now, there is a lot of different opinions overall about this fight. There's a lot of people, of course, that believe that this is a true 50-50 fight. There's also a lot of people that believe that Javante Tang Davis is going to steamroll Ryan Garcia. What is my personal opinion about this fight? I personally do believe that it is a very, very interesting matchup. Now, who would I favor, personally, in my view, in terms of the fight of who would potentially win this fight? I would more than likely probably have to go with Javante Tang Davis. In my view, Javante Tang Davis, I think that he is the more experienced fighter of the two, especially against a little bit of higher grade level competition. And don't get me wrong, Javante Tang Davis, in my view, has never really fought anyone, in my view, that has ever clearly been a true A-grade fighter. And some people are not going to like that, but it just is what it is. But Ryan Garcia, the best fight of his career or the best win of his career is against a former champion in Javier Fortuna that really did not belong in the ring with him in the first place, at least when you talk about in terms of size. And I think that this fight, I think that it took a very, very long time for it to happen because I think Oscar De La Hoya knew that Ryan Garcia had to get a little bit more experience under his belt. And if I had to guess, just my opinion, Javante Tang Davis and his team more than likely were waiting overall for this fight to potentially happen. And I believe more than likely that that probably is why Javante Tang Davis has not gotten in the ring with the likes of a Devin Haney or some of those other fighters because I think that potentially that he could have been waiting for those guys. Or who knows, maybe Javante Tang Davis, maybe he's just not interested in those guys. Because to be fair, overall Javante Tang Davis, he did not seem super interested in fighting Vasily Lomachenko when that pretty much was the fight that everyone was calling for. But I think that both Oscar De La Hoya and Steven Espinoza and who else overall promotes Javante Tang Davis, they know that this fight pretty much in terms of popularity and in terms of possible pay-per-view breaking numbers or in terms of a monetary value, that this fight is pretty much on another level. Ryan Garcia, no matter what people want to say about him, he is one of boxing's biggest stars. If you ask anyone on the planet, name me a few boxers more than likely, Ryan Garcia could potentially pop up. Now, of course, Ryan Garcia, once again, in terms of accomplishments, he's not up there. But in terms of the star appeal, in terms of the look appeal, in terms of a certain amount of almost that Oscar De La Hoya appeal when it comes down to it, he has it. He has somewhat of a star level power. But the big question is, is that overall, who is going to prevail in this fight? And I think that this fight is very particularly interesting. Now, once again, I used to believe that Ryan Garcia would not stand a chance in this fight. I used to believe that Javante Tang Davis would knock Ryan Garcia out within about six rounds. But recently, overall from what I've seen with Javante Tang Davis, and I'm not really 100% sure if it's a Javante Tang Davis that maybe is slipping a little bit, or maybe he is just having a certain amount of problems because these guys, they're a little bit taller and lengthier than him, and sometimes they're going to be a little bit bigger than him. Some of the similar problems that we also seen with Vasily Lomachenko once he moved up to 135 pounds, I'm not really sure if that's Javante Tang Davis that is really having the amount of problems that we see, or maybe Javante Tang Davis was just putting on a good event overall and kind of, I'm not going to say completely playing with those guys, but kind of pulling back certain punches. Because certain guys, certain boxers, when they may know that an event is not really up to par in terms of probably the caliber of competition, sometimes they may make it a little bit more competitive overall than what it probably needs to be. You know, overall, you know, and I've seen that in certain fights. But anyways, the real question is, once again, is who is particularly going to win this fight? And it is going to be very, 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 very interesting because both of these gentlemen, they are going to have to be the best that they ever have been. And the biggest question is about Javante Tang Davis. Which version of him are we going to see? 
are we going to see the version that I seen against Rolly Romero or the version that I seen against that of a Isaac Pitbull Cruz or someone like that, someone that seems overall to have a little bit of a problem finding certain counters that he needs to or overall having a little bit more of a multi-dimensional offense as what he needs to. And some people may say, well, what the hell are you talking about? Because he ended up knocking out Rolly Romero. He ended up, you know, beating Isaac Pitbull Cruz. He ended up knocking out Hector Garcia. Yes, but he also lost a certain amount of the rounds in those fights. And in my opinion, none of those fighters were ever anywhere near on the same level as a Javante Tang Davis. And Ryan Garcia is a decently talented fighter. Yes, he does have certain things about him to where overall he's a little bit green. And yes, there are certain faults. I think his footwork sometimes can be a little bit too clunky. I think overall he fights a little bit too tall. And I think that his chin is a little bit too up in the air. But he has worked on certain things. He keeps his hands up a little bit more at this current moment in time when it comes down to it. He usually is a little bit more defensively responsible. And even his footwork, in my opinion, has gotten a little bit better. And one thing that Ryan Garcia has... Overall, that usually most opponents, when they get in the ring with Javante Tang Davis, that they're not able to threaten him with, is not only a little bit of boxing skill and boxing craft, but also A-grade athleticism. Ryan Garcia has A-grade speed, but not just A-grade speed. He also has A-plus power. When I take a look at Ryan Garcia, when he hits opponents, especially when he hits them correctly, even sometimes on the back foot, like when he landed that left hook against Javier Fortuna, Ryan Garcia has very, very, very good power, just like that of Javante Tang Davis. And of course, when I take a look at the Javante Tang Davis fans, they say Javante Tang Davis, he's going to roll over Ryan Garcia because he beats him in every category. And what I'll say is this, I think that Javante Tang Davis does beat Ryan Garcia in most categories. But what I will say is this, I'm not actually quite 100% sure if Javante Tang Davis does 100% beat Ryan Garcia in the power category. And that is saying a lot because Javante Tang Davis has very, very explosive hand, excuse me, very explosive power in both hands. He has an excellent left. In terms of punching power, he also has an excellent right. And some people may believe that I'm being a little bit hasty when I say that, but Ryan Garcia is a guy that is going to be taller. He's going to be lengthier, and it's very possible that he's also going to be the bigger man in terms of weight. Ryan Garcia appears to me, at least in my view, to be a natural 140 pounder around the same weight and height as a Tiafima Lopez and a Devin Haney. The question is going to be is how skilled is he going to be in this fight? What both strategies should both fighters really pull up in this fight? Well, I'm probably going to break that down a little bit more when the fight gets a little bit closer to going here as I usually do. I may even personally live stream this fight. I'm not usually a person that <laughs> likes to live stream fights, but I may do this just because it's that an exciting of a fight. Overall, I'm not usually a live streamer because overall, <laughs> that's just not usually my personality to talk quite a bit, at least in terms of a live stream. But we'll see what happens because I do like breaking down certain fights. But we'll see all in all what ends up happening. But this fight is very, very exciting. Ryan Garcia, we're going to truly see how truly great he actually is. And the same thing with Javante Tang Davis. Will Javante Tang Davis be able to handle the height and the reach overall that Ryan Garcia has over him? And will he also be able to handle the pure athleticism that Ryan Garcia has. And the big question, of course, about Ryan Garcia is will he be able to handle the all-around raw skill and also the raw power and the athleticism also of Javante Tang Davis? And that's why more than likely I'm favoring Javante Tang Davis. I think that they're both great athletes, but I would say that Javante Tang Davis, that he is the all-around better boxer, at least at his best. But the biggest question is this, once again, what version am I, am I going to see of Javante Tang Davis? Am I going to see the same version that I did against Rolly Romero and Hector Garcia? Because to be quite honest with you, at least in my view, I was not really impressed with Javante Tang Davis in those fights. I would not give his performance an A in either of those fights. I thought that the fight against Hector Garcia, I would give him about a B. And in the Rolly Romero fight, to be quite honest with you, at least to his usual standards, I'd probably give him a C plus. And certain people overall, they may think that I'm being very, very harsh on him. But it just is what it is for what I've seen Javante Tang Davis do to certain opponents in the past, like that of a Mario Barrios, even though he had certain problems in that fight, or a Jose Pedraza. In my view, I thought it was a little bit disappointing what overall happened with Mr. Javante Tang Davis in some of those performances. But we'll see what happens because Ryan Garcia, once again, he's nothing to joke around with. So we're going to see probably no bars hold back 
are held back here. You're going to see the best version of Ryan Garcia, and you're also going to see the best version of Javante Tang Davis. So we'll see overall if my theory is correct, and if we're going to see a better version of Javante Tang Davis here, or at least a Javante Tang Davis on the know that appears to be fresher and better and more focused overall on this fight than what he was in the Rodney Romero fights and the Hector Garcia fights and the Isaac Pitbull Cruz fights, or we're going to see if Javante Tang Davis, if he truly has lost a step or he's just having problems overall with these certain fighters because maybe they're a little bit more experienced. I don't think that a lot of these fighters, in my view, that they truly are a great caliber fighters in terms of Isaac Pitbull Cruz, Rodney Romero, or some of the other ones that he's fought but he is going up in weight. And Javanta, who knows, he may have a little bit of a problem with that. So once again, that's going to be very interesting because if I see the same Javanta Tank Davis that I've seen against Hector Garcia or against Rolly Romero or against Isaac Pipple Cruz, there's a very decent chance that Ryan Garcia may be able to win by that of unanimous decision. Who knows, he may even be able to stop Javanta Tank Davis. And once again, a lot of people may say you're crazy. How can you say that? Javante Tang Davis is clearly the better fighter. I agree, he is the guy that is the all-around more polished fighter. But Javante Tang Davis, in my opinion, also really has not had an impressive performance in about three to four fights. The last time that I truly was impressed with a performance was against Mario Barrios. He was not impressive against Isaac Pitbull Cruz. In my opinion, he was not that impressive. He was not that impressive against that of Roly Romero. And in my opinion, also, he was not that impressive against that of Hector Garcia. So once again, we'll have to see on the note what ends up happening with this fight. I am very personally excited. Excited, excuse me. I do believe on the know that it is a truly great matchup. Now, once again, in my opinion, Javante Tang Davis clearly should be the favorite heading into this fight. But we'll see overall how truly great Javante Tang Davis is. And the reason what also makes this fight very particularly interesting is because we're truly going to see not only how great both of them are, but whoever is the loser of this fight, especially if it ends a knockout, that could totally derail their career. So in my opinion, all in all, there is a lot of high stakes in this fight for both fighters, even Javante Tank Davis, even though, of course, he has accomplished a decent amount more than what has Ryan Garcia or what Ryan Garcia has, because Javante Tank Davis, in my opinion, still to this day, has not really fought a clear and definitive a great fighter, at least someone that very clearly is in his own same class. This is going to be clearly, in my view, the biggest fight of both of their careers. It's going to be a very interesting matchup when it happens. Once again, I believe it happens on April 22nd. It's going to be very particularly interesting. But anyways, that's really about it for today. I thought that I would talk about that. Of course, talk about the most recent news. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see what ends up happening with this fight. But anyways, that's really about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all later.